A pass-through contribution is money that is collected by one not-for-profit organization to be paid to another not-for-profit organization. The money should show up as a liability on your balance sheet while you're holding the money in your checking account and then cleared from the liabilities when the money is paid to the other not-for-profit organization. Let's go back to a clean install of PowerChurch and I will go over the steps of how to set up a pass-through contribution. We will click on the Add tab and add a Detail Liability account. The account will come under Current Liabilities. So we'll give the new account number 2015 and call our account Teen Missions Africa and make this a level 5 account to match the level of the detail accounts already existing. We will leave this screen at the default settings and add this account to the general fund. We will leave this checkbox unchecked for now. We can come back and change this later if we need to use donor restricted money. After reading the summary page for this account, we will click Finish. Next, we will need to create a contribution fund and use the liability account that we just created. We'll go to Contributions, Setup, and Maintain List of Contribution Funds. We'll click on the Add tab and give our contribution fund the number 205 and call it Teen Missions Africa. The default bank account will be our general checking account. And the credit account will be the liability account that we just created. Let's take one more look at the balance sheet before we enter a contribution. There is $10,000 in the general checking account and there are no liabilities. Next, we'll enter a contribution for money that has come in for another organization. This will be a pass-through contribution. We'll go to Enter Contributions and make this type cash for our fictitious donor and the fund that we created and the amount. When we click Save, we get a warning because the amount is over $500 and done. After posting in the contributions module and in fund accounting, we're taking a look at the balance sheet again. Notice the $2,250 is now in the general checking account and we now have a liability set up for the organization Teen Missions Africa because we owe this money to another organization. When it comes time to write a check to the organization, we can set up a vendor record and pay out the money in a check by going to Accounts Payable Setup and Maintain Vendor Records. We'll add Teen Missions Africa as a vendor by clicking on the Add tab and giving it an ID and a name. We can set the default account information in the vendor record so that when we create an open invoice, the information comes in with the vendor. We'll use our liability account as the default expense account. And the credit account will be our checking account. Next, we'll create an open invoice in Accounts Payable by going to Accounts Payable, Maintain Open Invoices and clicking on the Add tab and selecting the vendor record that we just created with a reference and the amount. Notice the default account information comes into the Open Invoice because we set it up in the vendor record. We can add a line description and we are ready to pay the check. 
we can print the computer generated check and post the information in accounts payable and in fund accounting. After posting, a final look at the balance sheet shows that the $2,250 has come out of the checking account and there is no longer a liability owed to Teams Missions Africa.